Hello, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. Today I want to talk about the X-Tar model VC8. This is a USB-C LCD screen, lithium ion, nickel melt-hydride, and it doesn't say it here, but it also does nickel cadmium battery charger. VC8 is XTAR's first 8 slot battery charger with type C input. It supports QC 3.0 fast charging and max 3 amp for a single slot. It has capacity grading and storing functions. The LCD screen shows all around real time charging information right here it says nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride or lithium ion it'll do triple A's quadruple A's double A's A's SC's or C's and it'll also charge protected 21700 batteries the current price point on this charger on Amazon is around forty dollars OV activation function revives over discharge batteries TC, CC, CV, three-stage charging maximizes the battery's lifespan. And it precisely cuts off at 4.2 volts when the battery is fully charged. Current buffering technology keeps batteries from violent currents. It's reverse polarity, short circuit, overcharge, and overheat protected. And made by flame retardant material. Here is some of the specifications of the charger, as well as the packaging here on the back. And some of the features, LCD screen displays real-time charging status, capacity grading and storing function, max 3 amp output for a single slot. There's five different currents that you can use to charge. I want to say thank you to XTAR right off the bat for sending this out for review. I'm very excited about this. I like the idea of a charger that operates off of USB-C. I think that's really cool. So the first thing you see when you open the package is a USB-C right here. I like that because this can be ran off of a laptop computer. It can be ran off of a battery bank, a solar panel, your wall outlet, your vehicle in your car. There's just a lot of places where you could run this. So I think that's really cool. USB-C is very nice. I'm going to set the charger aside for just a second. Let's get to this owner's manual. Now the owner's manual looks like this. It's written in a quite, a, quite a few languages. I did notice that the print is fairly small. So for English this first page is all English that's really all we have right there and that's a look at the owner's manual then it goes into other languages and that's it now let's take a quick look at the charger a little close-up these are really smooth they feel very easy to, to move looks like it's built pretty well. There's the input for USB-C. That's what the side of the charger looks like. There's the bottom. Those aren't buttons. They kind of look like buttons, but it's just uh, the way the plastic is. It's not buttons. There's a look at the back, and there's some specs on the back, as well as a list of batteries. 10 440s, 14 500s, 14 650s, 16 340s, 17 500s, 17 670s, 18 350s, 18 490, 18 500, 18 650s, 18 700s, 207 00s, 21700 00s, 22 650, 25 500s, and 26 650s. 
And then it also says right here 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium. Quad A, triple A, double A, single A, SC, or C batteries. It looks like a very nice charger. So it comes with this little film here on top of the LCD screen. There are four buttons. So let's take this USB cable, plug it right into the back of the charger there. And I have a power source uh, right here that supports 3 amp charging. Let's go ahead and put on a, a couple batteries here. Let's start with the 18650. We'll put that in slot number one here. So we can see right there gives us a readout. 319 and it tells us the voltage tells us it's a lithium ion battery so that's pretty cool we're gonna let that go I'm gonna put a battery on bay number two that's a RCR 123 so it's pretty cool let's try a 14500 see what that does and let's see what else kind of batteries we want to put on there. Let's put, let's put on a uh, 26650. How about that? There's a 26650 battery. And you can see that I'm using just all kinds of different manufacturers' batteries. So let's take another closer look here. So that's everything that's going on. Very nice display. really enjoying that so far. XTAR has also included in this package a single 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. Okay, they come packaged very well. And they also included a 21700 lithium ion battery. So I think that was pretty cool. So they sent some batteries to test also. Thought that was pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and open these packages here. We'll start with the 21700. They're packaged very well. So we'll go ahead and put that baby on slot number five. Let's get that going. That's actually, let's move that over. That's. I don't want to mess with that, that big one. Let's open the 18650. See what that one looks like. Here is the 18650. I like how everything is just a very clean readout of what's going on with these batteries. says this one's full and this one's full so those two are already finished charging it says they're full pretty neat it's a very smart charger the LCD screen shows all around real-time charging information connect your power supply and insert the batteries it will start charging automatically when batteries are inserted they will be detected and activated automatically Batteries that are unable to be activated will be identified as broken batteries and the display will show error, ERR. The slots of channel 1 through channel 8 support battery charging. Meanwhile, slots channel 1 through channel 4 have two more advanced functions, grading function and a storing function. The charger can test the battery's real capacity by its grading function, so users know whether the battery capacity is overstated or not. When there are some batteries that are not used for a long period of time, the user can use VC8's storing function to charge slash discharge the batteries 
to their rated voltage so as to maximize the battery's lifespan. In grading mode, the charger will charge the battery. After fully charging the battery, it will discharge and then the charger will fully charge the battery again. In the first charging period, the screens will show real-time charging current. When discharging, the screen will show an accumulatively discharge capacity, the discharge current is 300 milliamp. In the second charging period, the screen shows real-time charging current and its discharge capacity. When it's finished grading, the screen will show done and the graded capacity. In storing mode, it will charge the batteries with voltage lower than 3.7 or 1.2 volt and discharge the batteries with voltages above 3.7 or 1.2 volts. When it's finished storing, the screen says done, and 3.7 or 1.2 volts in storing mode, VC8 can be used to charge LIFEPO4 batteries. Without any operation in one minute, the screen will dim. Long press the CURR button to turn off the backlight in any operation to turn it on. So if I long press this, it turns that off and any button will turn it back on. Same thing here I'm guessing. Long press the current button, turns that screen off. Single press turns it back on. Let's go ahead and add another 18650 here just for fun. And then let's add a uh, another RCR 123 just for good measure here. Let's get this guy running with all the ports full of batteries. And let's take a look at the indicators here and let's see what we got going on here. So starting from the right you can see that it doesn't really say anything. There we go. Now we have some data. So that's what the the four bays on the right are doing. And then let's push this button here and look at the bays on the left. So those three batteries are ready, the first three. So I, I really like the digital layout, the LCD screen. It's very clear as to what this charger is doing. It's very easy to read, very easy to understand. I think it's amazing that this charger can charge eight batteries simultaneously. That's, that's pretty neat. That's not something that I'm used to seeing. Well, I gotta say, I am really impressed with this charger. This thing, just the, 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 the way that it lights up the display, and you can see in, in real time what you're doing. You can change your capacity of how fast you want these things to charge. I think that's really cool. It's a nice charger, very nice charger. I like being able to manipulate the charging current and things of that nature. I think that's just super cool. Now, I think it was slot number one and slot number eight, I think, are the ones that will allow for three amp charging. So right here, I'm gonna test this 18650 battery in this flashlight. Let's uh, just go ahead and shut this guy. And let's turn the light on. You can see the battery is working just fine in this light. So that's pretty cool. I'm digging it. So it looks like a good quality battery. Very nice. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video of the XTAR VC8. I really like this charger. I want to say thank you to XTAR for sending this out for review. I really like it. I really enjoy the fact that it's USB-C because I can run it off of a solar panel when I'm out doing my videos and things like that and I could easily charge batteries with no problems. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and as always, have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.